But what's going on everybody, Wacko Backo here, so hopefully everyone's had a good week so far. I uh, apologize for the lack of regularly scheduled content, it's been a very busy week, especially with Christmas coming up at the end of this week. A lot of running around, a lot of prepping for all that. Uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the short series so far, uh, but today as you can see by the thumbnail, we're doing something a little bit different, and I'll explain why in a second. So today I have a full display case of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Magnificent Maven set. Um, now this is something, obviously, I don't do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! I am a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but uh, I saw this product at Walmart. Um, it was like uh, the individual box itself. Um, and I thought I would try it out, you know, see how I did. Uh, pulled a lot of expensive cards <laughs> right away. Um, and then I went to look at the set list and I saw that there's some really, really cool cards that uh, they're pretty much just like reprints of some of the older uh, cards that I remember when I was in the like collecting Yu-Gi-Oh and actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I actually played a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh than I ever did Pokemon, but I always collected way more Pokemon than I ever did Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, which is kind of funny. But long story short, I got this in. I want to go through it and uh, try our luck today. So there should be four or five, I want to say five boxes in here um, per display. And then uh, there's also, um, so... <laughs> Sorry, a bit scatterbrain. Five boxes per display, and then there's four packs per box. So, um, yeah, it should be exciting to go through this. Hopefully, we get some good stuff out of it. Um, you know, maybe even send some stuff out to grade, depending on what we end up getting. So, the two high end rarities that we're looking for in here, um, and I, again, I know I'm talking to like a Pokemon audience about Yu Gi Oh stuff, but if there's any Yu Gi Oh fans out there, um, you might know what I'm talking about. So, in this set here, they did what they call pharaoh rares um and there is i'm just gonna stop messing with that <laughs> there's two different types um there's secret pharaoh rares and there are ultra pharaoh rares um you can tell by like a little distinct like egyptian hieroglyph like artwork that's printed on the box or on the on the hollow itself um there yeah, so here we go five boxes and again it's got that's what each box you'd find just kind of sitting out uh, at the store, I've seen these at Target and Walmart. I've seen them at Best Buy, so they're everywhere. It's not like they're really exclusive to any specific spot. Um, I'm going to go through. I'm just going to do one at a time, I guess, because there's other stuff in here besides the packs. I'm just trying to keep everything somewhat organized. So let's start up here, uh, especially for those of you that aren't really into this stuff. And again, I know I'm preaching to a Yu-Gi-Oh! or a very Pokemon-heavy group here, but trust me, this, this stuff's really, really cool. So you get the four packs. And again, they're like the old school style crimp cut on the top. Um, yes, this is how they actually do it. I do like the pack art, um, just nice, got a lot, bunch of shiny colors. But each box comes with a set of sleeves, which is really, really nice. Um, and I think there's what, a bunch of different, let's see, um, da -da -da, six different designs that you can get in total. So I think for me, just open up randomly um, since I've been finding a bunch of this product. Um, I've been, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm pretty sure I've collected all of them. You know what? I'm just going to do it this way here. I'm going against my own setup here, but, uh, that's right, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! We're doing stuff a little different for this. Um, I don't know how often I'll be opening up Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. I know this is kind of just like random spur of the moment kind of thing, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do it like a secondary channel. Maybe I'll throw in some Yu-Gi-Oh! here and there, but, uh, Again, I, the only thing I don't like about Yu-Gi-Oh, and again, I'll probably catch hate for this, but um, I'm more of the old school kind of like, when I stopped playing, it was before all the like links and all this other crazy mechanics that add all the synchro cards and all this nonsense. Like, I'm very old school. It's like I had normal types, effects, spells, traps, um, and we had fusions. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't very crazy. So when... Uh, my brother's step kid comes over and um, he always likes to duel me. We always, you know, talk about like his deck and stuff like that. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of newer stuff and hey, nothing wrong with that. I mean, obviously that's the kind of stuff that uh, he can find and how he builds his deck off of that. Um, and then he looks at my stuff uh, and I'm again, just very traditional. I have very basic, ooh, I really like these sleeves. That's kind of nice. Um, very basic compared to all the crazy stuff that they have nowadays so um and again teach their own um obviously if i go to i can't really like go to a tournament or anything because a lot of the cards i'm using are probably banned at this point uh, or they're very limited 
Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's another way for for me to connect with them and uh, um, just just see how different this train card game has changed over the years. All right, so long story short, here we go. All of our packs. I think I did enough talking here. I'm just gonna shuffle them all up, mix it all together. Um, so again, I think this is 20 packs total. Um, outside of this box here, I've probably opened up this much. Um, so let's try our luck and see how we do here. It's going to move right down to the bottom. And here we go. I do like these also because it just rips very easily. Um, now again, uh, anyone that's a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! or follows it, forgive me because I'm probably going to mispronounce a bunch of these names. Uh, but they do, for those of you that are more Pokemon heavy than Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is some of the craziest named cards out there so all right let's take a look so we have uh sword soul emergence very very nice there we have keldo the sacred protector uh we have shadow imprisoning mirror uh by the way there's only like a hundred cards to this set so as we start pulling duplicates which we're going to i'm just going to kind of roll through it Ooh, very very nice we have um sky striker ace uh Hi hayate and let's see what's behind it all right and then we have a uh, riolia uh, Magius of Vera again very very different names and kind of conventions uh, compared to uh, Pokemon uh, all right. so um, some of the cards we're looking for um, some of the elemental heroes um, there's uh, Dark Magician Girl in here um, and the, I did look up some of this stuff so I'll be able to tell uh, if there's something really nice or not uh, I could obviously miss it because I don't do this all the time so if I miss something, let me know in the comments. Obviously, I'll go back and look. Uh, we have the Pendulum Call. We have uh, Yuki Ana, the, Isla, the Icicle, uh, Maya, Maya Kashi. Um, we have Oni, Oni. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm just going to call it Soul Sweeper. We're going to keep moving on. Um, but see, like this one I'm talking about, like all these different types. So you have like XYZ. You have Synchro. You have Link. Like, I didn't have any of this stuff when I was playing before. And I know I'm dating myself a little bit, but it's like it's like that old man syndrome like oh why'd they go and change all this stuff it's still pretty cool like the artwork looks absolutely insane i'm not going against that but it's just like there's way too many mechanics in this game right now anyway we have sword soul sinister sovereign Ooh, scapegoat so there's one that i remember um very very classic iconic card especially if you guys have watched the anime everyone from yugi to joey and everyone their mother has used scapegoat at some point in time so very very nice card there it's not crazy expensive by any means, but uh, I'm going to put it up and off to the side just because it's one of those uh, classic cards, if you will. All right, see how easy these are to rip open. Now, I understand the Pokemon ones are done a little bit differently, uh, a little bit thicker plastic, if you will, but uh, yeah, if only they could open up that easy. All right, so here we go. So we have Cyber uh, Rev System. We have Sky Striker Ace. We have Zeki. We have Theron Yule, also known as Duke. We have Exchange of the Spirits. Again, really, really awesome artwork on these cards. The colors really pop. Hopefully the camera's picking this up here. And we have Nightmare Cerberus. And that's it for that one. Um, again, I just happened to randomly stumble upon this. Um, again, I don't really follow Yu-Gi-Oh! At least as much as I used to back in the day. Um, but that looked like a pretty cool set. And it looked like there was all kinds of great cards. So I said, you know what? Let me give it a try. Uh, Surgical Striker Hamp. Theron, Nightmare Phoenix, very, very nice, and a Hero Lives. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know, some sparked my interest, and again, if I can pull some really nice cards, uh, maybe I'll get some graded, or I'll just throw them up on my eBay store, which I did with some of the other ones. Um, but it would be cool to get at least one like the Pharaoh rares. Um, if we pull a really high-end car, obviously I'm going to be super excited. All right, so this one here, we have Yata Gar Garasu. We have Ghost Meets Girl. Uh, we have Draco back, the rideable dragon. That would be really, really cool. Uh, we have Sky Striker Mobilize and Sword Soul Sacred Summit. Um, now, the interesting thing is going to be is, and of course, uh, he doesn't know this just now. Um, I don't know if I'll mention it. Eh, might as well. Who knows if he's actually going to see us or not. Um, ooh, <laughs> there's a good one right there. Good old change of heart. Um, very, very iconic card there. Um, for those of you that kind of understand the, the rules of how this works, uh, target one monster's opponent, or opponent, I'm sorry, target one monster your opponent controls, take control of that until the end of your phase, so, uh, until your end phase. 
really really awesome card in a grin that's really really nice artwork there um but uh, i think all the duplicates and stuff i get here i'm just going to give to my brother step kid and then you know he can build to his deck or maybe adjust his deck uh, with all these new cards sky striker ace dark calling we have the g golem totem or token sorry so you can use these and it explains right there uh, you can just use these as any kind of token type uh, it's really cool because there's a lot of different designs which is kind of neat and then we have uh maya mayakashi return um re again really really awesome artwork i really hope the camera's picking this up with all the lighting um but uh yeah again very very different <laughs> than um pokemon also this is the same style uh backing that they've used since the very beginning on english and japanese they've kept the same design the entire time not like pokemon how they changed it uh, at least on the japanese side the english side stayed the same all right so we have <laughs> totally awesome uh i would i would say so we have a uh, Leron. we have foolish return Ooh, vampire's curse haven't seen this one yet very very cool artwork there and we have exchange of the spirit again um i'm curious to look at like the whole set list again i know there's like 100 cards or 105 cards or something like that um, I'm kind of just looking for a specific few, unlike Pokemon, where I try and just like complete every set. Ooh, I think this is a good one, Black Luster Soldier. Um, again, I know it's really dumb because there's probably people out there like, oh yeah, this is good, this is terrible. I'll have to look this one up, but I'm pretty sure you can get a, uh, a Pharaoh Rare from that one. I'm just going to put you up here. Sky Striker Ace again. Uh, we have the Sword Soul Blackout. We have Sky Striker Mecha. Again, I really, really like the artwork and all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And then witchcraft or creation um kind of feels like i'm doing japanese pack opening because there's only so few cards in each pack but i'm pretty sure this is like some kind of specialty set it's not like one of the routine sets uh we have draken necro uh nether soul <laughs> dragon again the names are just absolutely insane we have uh Aleron. we have the soul sweeper again we have cat shark there you go for all of my people i like cats and sharks there's the best hybrid you're gonna get and Sky Striker Mobilize. Um, you let me know if anyone's watching this that actually likes Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me know in the comments um, what your favorite um, Yu-Gi-Oh card set that ever came out. Obviously, Legends of the Blue Eyes is very popular. Um, I do like the uh, the Ghost sets that they've done recently. Um, they've done two different sets where you can get like these. They call them Ghost Rares, uh, but it's like a reflective uh, artwork in the center, and then when you tilt it, you see the, the monster. It's absolutely insane um but yeah even all like the metal raiders and some of the old old sets those are the ones i really really like all right so we have um a dot or a grigdo uh ancient sentinel we have goes in match we have the anti-spell fragrance and hajin uh the winged maki <laughs> maya kashi i'm gonna butcher these names worse than i do with pokemon stuff but uh forgive me like i said i don't do Yu-Gi-Oh often but I thought I would try my luck with this set here. So let's see what we can get. All right, so we have the Incredible Escalicia. All right. Then we have uh, Mur, Mur... Oh, my goodness. Mud Ro Oh, my goodness. The Sword Oracle. There we go. I just can't talk right now. Sword Soul. We have Secret Village of the Spellcasters. And the Sword, Sword Soul Sacred Summit. My goodness. It's like every card in this is just a tongue twister. Absolutely insane. Um... But again, still pretty fun to open. I'm having a good time, and hopefully you are as well. Uh, don't worry. Obviously, there's still plenty of regularly scheduled Pokemon content. Uh, I am going to take a short break, though, for the holidays. So uh, I will be doing some kind of content on Christmas Day. And then I'll be back in, like, the first week of January. So give myself a little bit of downtime to relax, hang out with the family, get myself situated, and then get the start off the new year right. All right, so we have Boral Soul Dragon. That one looks really, really cool. Uh, Sky Striker Ace Token, so another cool token. Uh, we have the, oh my goodness, <laughs> Let, let's try this one, you ready? Um, Predaplant, and then, yeah, every letter in the alphabet after that. Uh, <laughs> Sky Striker Mecha, and the Soul, Soul, oh my goodness, Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign. Wow. Um, imagine just playing against someone, right? And you're just trying to call all this stuff, like, oh, I'm going to use this, I'm going to do this, or use this ability. Um, oh, that's everything, too, and let's look at this real quick. Um, look at all that text for what it can do. Um, it's a whole lot, and a lot different than 
when I used to play when it was just like, oh, f basic flip effects and stuff like that. It's, it's Card games definitely come a long way. Ooh, very, very nice. Harvey's Feather Duster, another iconic one there. Uh, destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. That's a huge card. Um, pretty sure that's probably banned from play or it's restricted. I say restricted because sometimes a card is allowed, but you only be able to have one. Um, I think some cards you can do up to three in your deck. Um, again, the rules have changed a lot in the last 20 years or so. Uh, we have Keldo. We have the Butatunaful Princess. Again, the names are just... It just makes you laugh just looking at the names sometimes. Uh, Shin, Shinra, Shinrinu uh, Solitaire. Witchcrafter Hain. Oop, that's the last one. I keep forgetting there's only five in these. Um, about halfway through, probably even a little bit more now. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, something pretty cool. Again, all the extra card sleeves that come with it. It's kind of nice. And then, um, ooh, there's a really nice one right there. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon there. It's some really, really awesome artwork. Not a crazy expensive card by any means, but, hey, it's a Blue Eyes. They're always iconic. Uh, we have uh, Ghost Meets Girl. Non-Fusion Area. Really, really cool, especially if you're playing against someone that all they use is fusions. Uh, this trap here sets up so no one can fusion summon. So you would kind of just collapse that person's deck with one card. Uh, Sky Striker Ace and the Soul Sword Soul Aspis. Um, very, very awesome artwork on a lot of these. And again, the names are just tongue twisters. I'm trying to do my best here without absolutely butchering it. Um, but all right, let's see what we get. And this one here, flip it on over. All right, so we have number 93, Utopia Kaiser. We have Sky Striker Ace. We have Draco back. Sword Soul. There we go. And the Daki, the graceful Maya Kashi. There we go. I'm getting it. If I just take my time and read just like everyone else does. All right. Let's see what we can get here. All right. Flip it on over. Ooh, very, very nice. So Millennium Eye Restrict. I think there's a Pharaoh Rare for this one also. This is not, unfortunately. Um, you'll tell, again, the pattern will be different and then the text. So you see the, the gold lettering here. Um, that's what you would call like your secret rare, or I'm sorry, your ultras. If you see like a rainbow pattern text, that's going to be your secret rares. So um, if we pull either one and I don't mention it, that's that's what we're looking at there. Sky Striker and a Rilliania. Um, all right, let's see. Got some pretty cool cards so far. Nothing crazy expensive, at least to the best of my knowledge. But uh, if we can pull that Dark Magician Girl, that would be absolutely huge. Um, or any of, the, again, any of the Pharaoh rares. All right, Sword Soul, Grandmaster, Ghost Meets Girl, Non Fusion Area, Sword Soul Sacred, and the Sky Striker Mecha. I'm dwindling down to the last few packs here. Um, again, I may try and get some more of these on my own, but uh, I don't know. Again, I just thought it was some kind of cool subset, and um, I, I like going through this stuff, especially because it's been a long time since I've gone through Yu Gi Oh! Uh, Iris Sword Soul. Witchcrafter Vice, we have the Gozen Match, Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign, and the Sky Striker Mecha once again. All right, I think we're down to just the last two packs here. Um, but like I said, hopefully you guys are enjoying the short series that we've been doing this whole entire month. Um, still have some more Yu-Gi-Oh! or regular, because <laughs> see now I'm going to keep saying it. Still have some regular scheduled Pokemon content, and like I said, I'll be taking a short break and then uh, starting off the new year. Ooh, another Harvey's Feather Duster, I'll gladly take that. I feel like whatever the hit card is, is on the front. I'm just going to keep rolling on. I mean, I've done the whole thing this way. Uh, Sky Striker Mobilize, Sword Soul Assessment, Sky Striker Ace, and Witchcraft Jenny. Very, very nice. Um, all right, here we go. Last pack. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before. I probably did. But uh, this set came out like the first week of November. Um, so it's pretty brand new. So let's flip over and see what we end off with. All right, so we have the Yata... Garisu, Garisu, we have um, El, El Ron, we have the Doom Dozer, this huge evil looking centipede, Dark Soul Token, and the last card is the Hero's Lives, or Hero Lives, um, but yeah, not too bad overall, again, got some, some iconic artworks here and some cards that I'll have to look up and do some research on, uh, but there's probably something else in here that I might have missed over or skipped, um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I just want to show this off and go through it. Um, I was going to hold off and do it later, 
But uh, I decided, you know, I got some free time here. Might as well just do it now and get it knocked out. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.